everybody, it's Jared with Heat Press Nation, and today I'm very excited to have special guest Vince from DTF Station. Hey. How you doing, man? Thank you, Jared. Thank you so much for having us. Uh, I'm super excited to be here. Thank you. Well, dude, we're super excited to have you. Now, today Vince is going to do us all a real big favor. He's going to answer our frequently asked questions. Yeah, I know uh, there's a lot of questions, and Jared has a, a list of great questions to answer, so fire away. Let's do it. All right, so first off, Vince, what's the average cost per print? You know, it's going to vary depending on your print size, but what's really cool in our software, DigiRip, it has a built-in cost calculator. So we actually factor in uh, your cost per ink, so you can actually update it uh, if ink prices change, um, film and powder, but honestly, a 10 by 10 design with some negative space, you're probably looking at around 40 cents. 10 by 10, no negative space, probably like 60 cents at, probably at max. Wow, and that, and that is that ink? And film? Ink, film, powder. powder out the oh, door. Okay. Wow, that's great. It's pretty good. All right, next question. Is the daily maintenance really that bad? No, so with any DTF printer, there is gonna be some required end of day maintenance. We make it really easy. We provide you a chart that's like end of day, weekly, and as needed. Um, but really, it's just gonna take a minute or so at the end of day. Again, any DTF printer, there is some level of maintenance, but it's not difficult. It's gonna take you a minute, end of day. Nice. And then the DTF station printers are pretty unique because they do some sort of self-cleaning. Can you explain that? Yeah, so we've come a long ways, you know, DTF printers in general, specifically our A4, R2, or any printer that we offer, the Prestige line, auto cleans. And so one of the most important things is leaving your machine on. It's on a timer, it auto cleans. Please, if you're watching this, leave your Prestige <laughs> on um, and you're gonna have a lot less headaches to leave it on. Maintenance is very minimal. Awesome. Now to somebody who might be really new to DTF printing, what kind of things can they make with the DTF printer? Yeah, that's what makes DTF so unique and so popular is that it pretty much goes on any fabric uh, material. So shoes, hats, wallets, t-shirts, hoodies, pretty much any fabric material, just stay away from hard substrates. Got it, got it. So if you could wear it, you could customize it. Exactly, all you nice. need to do is heat press it. And I've seen people get really unique with cap presses and all sorts of stuff to apply it. Love it. Okay, so how long do the transfers last before they start to peel off? You know, that's a great question. We've actually tested it. Um, we've thrown them in the washer dryer. Of course, there's suggestions on how to wash it. I don't think anyone ever listens. <laughs> no. um, but you know, we've tested it for about 50 plus washes. It's not a plastisol transfer. It's not plastisol ink. It's not gonna crack after a few washes. I'm sure we've all worn those like band t-shirts that yeah. two mm. washes and it's, it's coming apart. But uh, the adhesive is really strong. And so I can promise you as long as you cure it properly, uh, it's about 50 plus washes. And will it actually or what happens it cracks like how does it how does it wear you know, it's a water-based ink and so over time you might notice some sort of fading but again that's at the 50 plus mark if you wash your shirts more than 50 times you know come see us i'm, I'm intrigued <laughs> what you do but again 50 is kind of what um i say that you can do perfect so another question we get a lot is how long does it take to do one shirt you know it really depends on the actual model that you have um, if you're going with something like the prestige a4 you know it's not the fastest printer it's more of a desktop you know entry-level dtf printer like a eight by eight design probably takes, you know, about five or six minutes to print. Okay. You can hook it up to a Miro 13, so it's fully automated. So that's really where you get a lot of speed. Mm. It powders and cooks it for you. Or if you want to do one at a time and use your Phoenix uh, Air 16 by 20 oven, which is a great option. Honestly, you could probably have a completed transfer in less than 10 minutes. Nice. And that's just doing one if we like, if, you, if you're ganging them, you're kind of lowering your average, would you say? Yeah, exactly. So that's, the, that's really how you want to be printing, right? You don't want to do one design and waste the film, right? You want to put as many designs close as possible as you can, um, especially if you're already ordering transfers. Same concept, gang print them, make sure you get them nice and tight. That way you save film um, and your print speeds go faster. Love it. All right, so somebody has their HP and heat press, they have their Prestige A4. What else are they gonna need, uh, I guess, for the process? Yeah, so that's, that's what's really unique is that most of our users have a heat press. Um, all they need is the printer, but some things to make the process go actually faster is getting something like your Phoenix Air oven it cures your adhesive much faster. I don't know if you've tried using a heat press. I have, and it was, yeah. It wasn't terrible, but it was kind of long. Yeah, it takes yeah. a few minutes, and you realize that's kind of the pain point. And so something like this can cure your transfer in about 45 to a minute, and it's cooked evenly. That's the most important thing, is I know when I press it on a shirt, it's not going to come off. It's not going to wash off. Um, so it's not just the printer. You do need the heat press. You, do need, you can get the oven, which makes it easier. Um, but kind of getting everything just makes it a lot easier when you're doing DTF. Yeah, and to just speak to that uh, heat press thing, like we did do it in a heat press, mm -hmm. but then what I noticed, I kept having to adjust between curing and pressing every time. So that was also a, a pain point for me. Yeah, you'll see guys holding the heat press there for a yeah, few minutes yeah. and <laughs> it just really slows down your production. You know, if you have something like the A4, 
it's doable, but once you start getting into like an R2 where it's more production based, your your pain point is gonna be the heat press. Got it. Vince, I wanna thank you so much for taking the time to come by, talk to us about DTF Station. Now, if any of you guys have any questions about these or any other products, feel free to reach out to us directly at 800-215-0894 or at heatpressnation.com.